sent us go. Leaving Atmel. All clear. Before the meeting gets started, I have bunk assignments for PB and Drac. Already put my rucksack in the kitchen. I'll hang out there if that's okay. And I'm in one of the escape pods. More my speed. That's fantastic. Welcome aboard. Any thoughts, Ryder? I don't care where anyone sleeps, as long as we realize what a kick-ass team we have. Let's talk about our success on EOS. Besides establishing our first viable outpost, we did some amazing things. We discovered the Remnant and breached their vault. And didn't get killed. Overcame radiation poisoning. A number of times. And didn't die. Confronted by Ket at every turn. Once again, did not get killed. You guys really need to raise the bar on what you call success. <laughs> yeah, should we use the Krogan definition of success that got your homeworld nuked by your own people? <laughs> Fair enough. Let's focus. Back to the task at hand. Looking forward. Exactly. Here's my only question. When do we hit that next vault? It looked active. We have to get on that. Hang on, hang on. We need to not go off half-cocked. There are initiative priorities. The team calls the shots. Actually, the Pathfinder calls the shots. Just to be clear. So what do you need from us, Ryder? Let's be kind and give each other the benefit of the doubt. Finding a home for tens of thousands in this hellscape is stressful enough without adding dysfunction. You got it, boss. If Krogan are known for one thing, it's getting along. But not humility or self-awareness. Okay, let's head back to the Nexus. PB, Drac, see Lexi for a physical? Good meeting, everyone. Mutinies like cancer. Left untreated, it spreads. Keep exiling people, and you'll just run out of people. Cut out malignant cells to give the healthy ones a chance. Where'd you hear that? The little Brody told her. A Brody. It was a club. Pathfinder making the rounds. Slumming it, huh? Wanna see how the riffraff were making out? Hey, it's a dirty job. Are you the riffraff spokesman? King, actually. You might want to bow. Otherwise, no telling what might fall off the nomad when you're out there. I'll take my chances. Just wanna see how things are going with the ship. I can coax more out of this baby than some might think, but we shouldn't go too far or push too hard between Nexus stops. For now. It just feels good to be stretching our wings, you know? Locked in idle too long, you start to drift. People, same as ships. Stuck on the Nexus, gotta say, I was regretting joining the Initiative. Seems like life back there was pretty bleak. Not gonna lie, it sucked. I tend to live the way I work. Kind of feel it, do it. Not a lot of close ties. No real sense of purpose. Figured maybe I'd find my true calling in Andromeda. Then I got here and, oops, I just made a decision there's no turning back from. I was going nuts on that station. You can't know how jazzed I was when you showed up. We're exploring this cluster. Eventually, the galaxy. If your purpose is here, we'll find it. Then the question will be, what will I do with it? <laughs> in the meantime, you just keep pointing this ship wherever you want it to go, and I'll make sure she can get there. Deal? Deal.
Don't give the Pathfinder too much trouble. Quit worrying, Rushan. It'll be fine. Right. Have you settled in yet? Yeah, got all my stuff here. And your repair kit, spare parts? I carry that emergency kit you put together all the time. Good. Good. I'll check in with you later. <laughs> Don't give the Pathfinder too much trouble. Oh, Rushan. Who are you talking to? Kesh, Nexus Superintendent, thinks she can boss me around just because she's my granddaughter. Well, welcome to the Tempest. Trouble's what we do. Ah, I like the way you think, kid. Ugh, someone somewhere shivered when I said that. Probably Tam, damn politicians. Is that all you brought? You travel lean when supplies are tight and you're on your own. Leaving the Nexus can't have been an easy choice. It was, actually. Staying became impossible. After the mutiny happened, it was either buckle under Tan's rules or start our own colony. Easy choice. Bad consequences all around. Not all Krogan left. Your granddaughter stayed. Good thing she did. Without my Rushan, you wouldn't have had much of a station to tie your ship to. As for me, I'm way more useful out here. Lots to shoot at, for one. Your people come first. Keeping Kesh and our colony safe will always be my top priority. That's why I'm happy to tag along, help make this galaxy a little more hospitable. Can't argue with that. Where's my data pad? Oh, how'd you get under there? You're setting up in here, huh? Yeah, I'm going through what we got out of that vault. If I can crack this data storage box, it'll help with a personal project back on the Nexus. This is a nice out-of-the-way place where I can tinker, and I can sleep anywhere. It's not exactly homey, but I like that about it. Not really looking for a home. Oh, but I will help you find everyone a home. While I'm with you, at least. Does your brain ever take a breath? <laughs> Sorry, not really. Even my dreams are in time-lapse. I get it. You want to know who's on your ship, so you're here to figure out what makes me tick, right? Something like that? Sure. Well, I was born in a log cabin on rural Haitiana, to simple but loving parents, just trying to... I look forward, not back, writer. Why snooze through my life story? Get to know me out in the field, while we're uncovering the mysteries of this galaxy. That's why I'm here. Got tired of yawning back home. Tackling complete strangers in the Milky Way wasn't doing it for you? I think tackling you anywhere would be fun. <sighs> Did I say that out loud? Life won't be boring with you around. I may never yawn again. Maybe you just needed more sleep. We were out for 600 years. A special someone made the trip with me and she woke up a different person. I've slept enough. Ryder, the Milky Way was so... been there, done that. Even if I hadn't done it, someone had. If there's one thing you should know about me, it's that I live for the unknown. For the never been done. Well, congratulate yourself. No one has ever so successfully dodged my attempts to get to know them. Yes! I'm number one! Buy me a drink sometime. Who knows what will spill out of my mouth. Then again... I need remnant scrap. Remtech, I call it, for projects like the one I mentioned, which you're gonna love, by the by. Promise to bring me what you scrounge, and I'll submit to all your questions. Remtech, huh? You got it. So we have a stowaway. You mean PB? She's decided to set up in one of the escape pods. You don't need a psychologist to tell you that one's got commitment issues. I need to talk to you about something private. Of course. That's what I'm here for. When Dad died, he blocked off parts of Sam's memory. Things he didn't want me to see. Or he thought you weren't ready for. Maybe. 
I found this... trigger. It unlocked a... memory fragment of Dad on the Citadel. From when the Alliance rejected his ideas about AI, and he found out Mom's illness was terminal. Why do you think your father chose this specific memory? Who knows? Dad's always been one for secrets. But he's sharing them with you now. That's something. I'll let you get back to it. I'll be here if you need me. Report from the Nexus. Population's growing as people wake up. Lots of hopefuls waiting for a home. Bradley will have all the help he can take. They'll be starting crops soon. Can't tell if they have enough water, or too much. I grew up on a little cargo freighter. Only saw gardens and vids, but I always loved them. I daydreamed about planting a big rose garden when we got here and still imagine it sometimes. Roses in Helios. It'd be good to bring something beautiful across galaxies. Everyone in the initiative has their something beautiful. I didn't for a while. After I left the Asari Commandos, well, I didn't leave. My mentor, Nasira, said I should go. Why? The initiative would suit you better, was all she said. Being a huntress suited me fine, but she insisted. Wow, you fight side by side, then she gives you the brush off? It hurt. One big kick out of the nest. Still, that's familiar. When your biotics are honed into Huntress-grade weapons, people can be weird about it. The initiative seemed better. Just didn't see how I'd fit into their brave new galaxy. I never fit anywhere before. Then I met some jerk named Ryder. Talked about traveling to Andromeda like he was teaching you how to see it. What part of that vision made you want to take the plunge? A civilization where everyone had a place. Even AI, or an overpowered human biotic. Your father said, I get being different. Now imagine being welcome and making others like you welcome too. When I was 13, I could warp a steel girder. He made me wonder, what if someone had told me, that's okay? He gave you a dream to work toward. He was good at that. Who doesn't want to belong? Especially somewhere like the Initiative. So I gave the initiative my all. Kept thinking of the niche I wanted, my rose garden. I thought I knew what I was going to be. This is about not taking over as Pathfinder? Didn't think it would still sting. Nasira, your father, even my parents. They leave, I'm left without answers. Nowhere to stand. I get that. We've all had a lot of disappointments lately. You're doing well. For having no training, being your second isn't so bad. And if that remnant tech pays off, maybe someday I'll have roses too. Prodromos. Prodromos. Sounds good, doesn't it? We started, Pathfinder. A new life. That is goddamn brilliant. Just wondering what you think of how I'm doing at the job. I'm committed to the initiative. You're Pathfinder. It's as simple as it gets. You barely covered how you joined. Tell me something about yourself. All right. I was a bad student, piss poor cop, great responder. Had a good life, but it all been done. I wasn't looking to start over. I wanted to start big. You were a cop, then crisis response? Couldn't have been long in either. Didn't have the patience for law, so I figured enforcement. Dad knew it didn't fit before I did, but it got me into hustle. They mostly take vets and retired service. Best years of my life. 
An impatient rookie frustrated by procedure. That's overdone. I know, right? I wanted new, and I got it. And that led me here. Tell me about your family. I miss the hell out of them. Some nights you just cry, right? That's the thing everyone does. Mom Joel, Dad Calvin, both lawyers. Met on the Citadel, settled on Earth. No brothers or sisters. That might have been too much to leave. It was traditional. How about you? Life with my family was not typical on a number of fronts. You may do though, right? Family has to. I know mine did. I said goodbye to my mom and dad and got on a ship to Andromeda. We'll talk later. I know it. Terraforming, Atmo processors, gravity wells, life-destroying murder bubbles. <laughs> we really had no idea what Helios was about, did we? <laughs> if we knew what it was all about, it wouldn't be an adventure. It would just be moving, and everyone hates moving. Just the packing alone, bleh. <laughs> Point taken. I'm just saying. I really hope you have a plan, Ryder. The plan's the same. We find a home. Whatever that takes. Keep that drive. Makes me believe we can make it. I mean, we have to make it. The alternative is not even worth thinking about. You talked about your back channels. What did you mean? We brought a lot from home. Some of it marked initiative, some of it in personal caches. Most things you want, someone's got. You just have to figure out who, and what they're willing to take in exchange. That just sounds like you're taking advantage of people. Is it? I get people what they want, and they do want, or they wouldn't pay. How did you hear of the Andromeda Initiative? Short answer, Cash. She was looking for some experimental ship mods, and I knew how to track them down. I thought it was a one-time deal, but she came back. Once, twice. Eventually, I figured out something was going on. Something big, with creds behind it. I asked and she told me about the initiative. New galaxy, new home. Couldn't pass that up. You were on the Nexus when the revolt happened? When you promise people golden worlds and all they get are wastelands and a death cloud, they riot. Some wanted to go home, some demanded answers. And a couple just wanted to stir shit up. And you? Some days I wondered if the Exiles had a point. Maybe we were conned into coming here. But why would the Initiative go to all this trouble just to screw us over? The thing about conning people, you always know something they don't. And that's why the con works. And if I'm going to pick a side, I'm picking the liars. You probably have work to do. We can chat later. You know where to find me. Scans of the Scourge. All that dark energy twisting and turning on itself. It's splendid. I suppose it is a rather darkly beautiful phenomenon. Darkly beautiful. I like that. Helios is incredible, isn't it? Not just constructs like the Scourge and the Remnant Vaults. Just all of it. So alien. A constant reminder of the divine intelligence behind all creation. You mean, a god? Yes, I believe in a higher power. I know it's a little odd, but I am a scientist because science brings me closer to something greater than myself. There's something about coming face to face with something wondrous that makes you want to believe. Wow. It's wonderful to meet someone who understands. 
I've had to justify myself so often. As if having faith in the divine invalidated my work as a scientist. As if this sacred could be diminished by the search for truth. It's good to have different voices on my team. I like that. Excellent. Oh, speaking of the team, I should update the folks back in the Nexus with the latest reports. We'll talk later. Hello, Gil. When are you cleaning up that repair on the sensor console? I'm not. It's a redesign. A redesign? Without a trained crew? I'm trained and it's working great. Don't be so uptight. Everything okay? Oh, fine. Fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs>